There are people in the world who are so sick or so angry that they sometimes hurt other people. And they're usually the ones who end up in the news. Remember hearing about John Lennon being shot in New York and President Reagan and his friends in Washington and the Pope in Rome and the young people being murdered in Atlanta and other places? Well, the people who are doing these terrible things are making a lot of other people sad and angry. But when we get sad and angry, you and I, we know what to do with our feelings so we don't have to hurt other people. The other day I talked with some school children about some of these things, and I'd like you to hear what they have to say. And when I heard about when that one man got shot in the head, I, I ran upstairs and my dad started praying for him that he stay alive. That was certainly frightening, wasn't it? But how do you think anybody gets to be a murderer? Maybe they're lonely. Lonely? Or so. And why do you suppose that they would uh, kill somebody if they were lonely? Because they had no one to talk to. Or if they're somebody murdered somebody in their family. Oh, you think they might have murdered somebody in their family? And so they're just trying to give everybody, pay everybody back for it. When I was a boy and I would hear about something scary, somebody getting badly hurt or something like that. I'd ask my parents or my grandparents about it, and they would usually tell me how they felt about it. In fact, my mother would try to find out who was helping the person who got hurt. Always look for the people who are helping, she'd tell us. You'll always find somebody who's trying to help. So even today, when I read the newspaper and see the news on television, I look for the people who are trying to help. One of the most important parts of growing up is learning to talk and play about our feelings. Some people wonder if Mr. Rogers ever gets angry. Of course I do, especially when I hear about people hurting other people or when somebody hurts me.